Before we get into the video guys, I am giving away 11,500 Apex coins to be with a chance of winning them. Make sure you are subbed to this channel, drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More details on the giveaway are in the video description. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Apex Legends video and today I bring you more Apex Legends news including the Battle Pass. An insane in-game Loch Ness Monster Easter Egg where you actually spawn this big mofo. New weapons coming, new details on solos and duos and much more. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support, you can by smashing that like button. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Apex Legend videos, make sure you subscribe. So let's start with the Battle Pass. Now official details on the Battle Pass are kind of scarce. We only have uh, the roadmap from Respawn that mentions anything about it. And that's its release window, its release time gate. Um, it's somewhere in March. That is it. We don't know an exact date yet at all. But data mine files suggest and give us a little bit more information on it. Thanks to Gaming Intel for some of the information. Their website can be found linked within the video description. So within the data mine files, we see files that suggest there will be two variants to this battle pass. Much like we see in Fortnite, a free version and a paid version. As we see within the files, files that actually suggest something will be free and others will be paid for, which kind of makes sense. We see or saw something very similar within Fortnite and I doubt it will be much different here within Apex Legends because let's face it the concept is great. A free season pass for all the kids out there who can't afford this but still want to play and earn things and a paid season pass for all the hardcore players much like myself and many of you guys. So when exactly in March will we get this season pass? At the start kind of makes sense around the 4th as that is a Monday but game files fans which could be clues state around the 25th of March. Now you may not know this, but many characters have been data mined, both legends and NPCs. The two that pop up the most, the uh, two legends that pop up the most, uh, including their abilities, are Watson, who is believed to be a robot with a Tesla trap ability, and then there's Octane, who has a steam pack ability. Yes, believed to be the same steam pack we saw in Titanfall, if you remember that. Now we know these new seasons will introduce new legends. And it's believed Octane and Watson will be the first ones we get. And data mine files suggest, as you can see on screen now, via the post launch playlist data mine file, it suggests we will get an Octane preview at a post playlist for week 8, which from release would be around the 25th of March. So the actual times on this battle pass at the moment ain't secured in place as a guarantee yet. We will wait for official info from Respawn here, because all we know for sure is there will be extra things to play for, more weapons added, new legends, new loot and much more. And these will all come in March sometime with this new battle pass for Apex Legends. Like I said, it makes sense it would be the f around the 1st of March, would be the 4th would be that Monday. But I mean, this leak playlist data mine file suggests that a post playlist will come at week 8, which would be around the 25th, and then we should get a preview of Octane. And if Octane is believed to be one of the first legends coming with these new seasons, I mean, could it be the 25th of March? I mean, it's still March, the roadmap wouldn't be lying. But who knows, people, until an official statement has been dropped by Respawn, we are actually kind of guessing here. But all we know is, March sometime we will get a battle pass whether there will be a free version and a paid version to it I mean it kind of makes sense and respawn ain't stupid as we know it hasn't been confirmed as of yet so let's move on people and one of the big things so many people are wanting right now in game are solos and duels while more data mine files have been found seen on screen now and we can see the addition of two man squads and solo play interestingly we see big changes made to the solo as you'd expect because things like the knockdown shield will be absolutely useless and not necessary in solos as you can't be revived once you are down you are down people but I mean, I know we are getting so many data mine files on solos and duos. I mean, it's kind of a guarantee these mods will be coming. It's something we all want and Respawn are definitely aware of that. And even though they ain't mentioned anything about it publicly, I can guarantee you guys it's coming. I just guess we've got to be patient here. Okay, so let's move on people. And via newly found data mine files, we can see the addition of new grenades coming to the game. Now these grenades, although a couple seem to act a lot like a few legend abilities, I can reassure you these are not the same files as we see character abilities and have been added into the game file since the latest update a few days ago. The first we see is a smoke grenade. I'm guessing it will act a lot like Bangalore smoke grenade, but I'd say it won't be as potent. I mean, as it would just make her ability useless then. The next grenade is called the tick. 
Now you guys should remember these from Titanfall. Little butt things that used to chase your ass around and explode upon getting close to you. Pretty cool to see them returning too, should be fun. And then we have an orbital strike. This again I'm guessing will be a lot like Gibraltar's defensive bombardment. But again, but again, it just won't be as potent as Gibraltar's ultimate. I mean, it just wouldn't make sense at all. Maybe it'll be about one tenth or one fifth the scale. Who knows? These grenades no doubt will land as part of a new season in my opinion also. So we will see people, we will see. But yeah, new loot, good shit. And lastly guys, a crazy easter egg in game which actually allows you to summon the Loch Ness Monster. Yes, you heard this right. And when I first saw this video, I thought it was the ultimate clickbait crap. But when I clicked it, I was absolutely left gobsmacked. My jaw was drew up, people. Now, you guys know of the little lot less teddies you can find around King's Canyon. Well, there is a guide on YouTube to exactly how this is done. And you'll find that linked within the video description. But if you actually shoot these in a certain order, you actually spawn the Loch Ness Monster. Like what? You can see these images on screen now of this thing being spawned. Absolute craziness. And like I said, guys, if you do want to check out exactly how this is done and try it for yourselves, you can find a link within the video description. It is a big process and I don't want to take away from these dudes' work on getting this done and uploading it to YouTube. So do go and check them out. But guys, on that note, we have come to the end of the video and that's it for today. The latest news surrounding the game. If any new information drops, people, I'll have you covered right here at my channel as per usual. But guys, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Apex Legends videos like guides, top fives, gameplays, reviews, just about everything, make sure you subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.